Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, welcome back. I'm trying to keep it down so that the PlayStation 4 can't hear me. It, it's not very happy that, that I'm Your playing Assassin's Creed 4 and it's not on it. Pinchner from the Spanish, was it? Aye, in the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon. A million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. What? Some... Oh, coming from a pirate. So I'm As trying to keep it down for the, uh... I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. Conversation here. Storm Captain, what's that? Oh, anyhow, yes. We're gonna go knock over a nice big man of war ship. Stupid wind, get out of here. Get out of here, wind. There we go. Oh, we I've got to say, our broadside does so much more damage now that it's upgraded. Bring them in. I suppose I could snipe them from here, anyhow. Probably don't even need to board their ship at all myself. Maybe to kill five of them? Ah, well, I will, because it's awesome. That's one of the swamps! That's one of the Oh. Yeah. That was pretty solid. I think I can probably just slash my way out of this. Oh, he barely lives. Can we? Can we? There we go. See, so yeah, PlayStation 4 is out. Um, I didn't bother, like, buying this on that and making a new save. Definitely are graphical improvements moving to the PlayStation 4, but, you know, probably not entirely worth it. Especially because I can't do the $10 upgrade thing, I'm on, I'm on 360 playing it. But on the plus side, the launch of the goddamned PlayStation 4 did not stop me from putting out this walkthrough, so you guys can feel pretty secure that, uh, that I will be playing this for the foreseeable future. And trim oh, there are now new upgrades. What is that? It's, oh, that's a ship that's already uh, already down and out that I can go ahead and salvage it. Now. She'll take it. She's trim two. Stupid wind. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll cut down on the sails a little bit then. While the wind target, dies down. Floating booty there for the taking, sir. Ooh, free metal. We don't mind free metal at all. Gallants, so I was thinking that my next game on this channel would be, um, you know, maybe like a, maybe, maybe an old Assassin's Creed, or maybe a, uh, area not available during memory. Okay, that's talking about where the wind is over there. Haul them in, get off the wind! Haul, fall all sail! Do you hear the news? But now I'm thinking, you know, hey, PlayStation 4 is out. No real need to uh, not do something on that. So probably Knack or Killzone Shadowfall. Depends a little bit about what we're doing on the media cows. I'm trying to hold B in order to let go of this... Uh, let go of this steering wheel, because that's that's usually how you do that. But it's not it's not having it. I guess I, I, guess I can't salvage this ship. Catch the wind! Trim the yards off the wind! That doesn't seem Hang right, down. though. Let's all right, go. whatever. We ride the wind for all she's worth. We'll just head to our marker. Be a good boy. Do what we're told. Shorten sail. Get off the squall. Loose all. Let's Easy. move. Loose top I, I'm really earth. curious, though. Like, can I can I get off now? I'm not like misremembering the controls, right? You hold B, but whatever. All right, whatever. We're going. We're going over to the. We're going to the dock. We're just making a decision here. Nearly positive that it was just hold B to let go of the steering wheel. 
tried some other stuff. We'll go our two kilometers over to this dot. Oh. I can talk a little bit about the uh, the PlayStation 4, though. It is pretty damn Let's awesome. I love Caesar. the controller. Oh, wait. Whoa, oh, she's out of the wind. What, uh, what is this location? Oh, there's a survivor. Or maybe a, a dive location. Human him in broad, Captain. There we go. Get them aloft! Douse all sail! Bring them up tight! Alright, I am curious about this uh, this treasure icon over here. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just stop exploring or anything like that. Um, PlayStation 4, I really like the controller. Um, I really like Resogun. I've got a, a video of that game up on uh, the Media Cast that you guys should check out. I actually had the high score for a little while on it. So I try to uh, try to share my, my knowledge. It is absolutely not letting me get off the ship. Fire! I don't know sail. what's up with that at all. Crowd it all on. Knack? I, I like Knack. I actually, I mean, I'm not that far into it. I'm only, um, like an hour or so. And that's from, you know, the media cows playing with them. But, so far, I still really enjoy it. Like, it's... It does not suck. That is not as bad of a game as the reviews would have you believe. All right. Easy as she goes. So that's just a gunboat. No what are they blowing up? The gunboat's blowing here. up a brig? Like staring through a waterfall. Don't hmm. saw your breeches, lads. I got this. I could probably take out this gunship really easily and then loot that other ship. So I think I'm gonna do that. Uh -oh. Cool, that lands. I did sink it, but you know, worse things have happened. Let's see if the game is... Oh, jeez. What is that over there? That's probably the Man of War. Get them along. Down soul, Hold sir. tight! Here they come! Can't release the wheel in Get high swaves and free. storms. Okay, cool. Well, not very Loose cool, but... Trim. Good to know. We'll go with good to know. Oh, there it is. La Arca del Maestro. Level 60? Level si That is substantially higher than the level of anything else I've dealt with, but I think it did just get struck by lightning, so that helps. We'll go ahead and try and skirt the edge that of the vision cone. Of Aye, and we'd not last long face to face with her. You hear that, can we? Maybe our distance. Alright, alright. We'll, uh... Fortune favors us. Under cover of darkness, most likely. Oh, you may come to that. Okay, cool. So it's giving us a mandatory means of, of taking on this ship. We have to do it by staying out of its vision range and just tracking it until uh, until we can find a, a more opportune moment to strike. Otherwise, it will kill the shit out of us. Reef before men! Who's on? Swim shot to the wind! All sail! Crowd it on! Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, during the live stream, there was a bit of a, a bit of an issue with uh, no one really being successful or liking Killzone Shadowfall. We actually ended up not posting a part that would have been in the walkthrough simply because of how frustrated we were and how bad we thought that video would end up being. Um, I, I fired that game up and tried it myself. Really like that game. I really like that game. So there's a good possibility that that won't be going on on the Media Cows, and if it's not going on and Knack is, that's probably my next game on this channel. Um, really fun shooter, though. You've got to be a bit tactical, you've got to use your owl right, um, and, you know, not end up taking on an entire army at once, which it's, it's really hard to get stuck in a situation where that's exactly what you're doing in that game. So, yeah, I like it. Uh, all right, it just like kicked up a whole bunch of surf there. Crowded all on. I'm gonna go ahead and stay uh, stay behind this ship, skirt its vision range as well. If I would have kept tracking 
the man of war closely, it, uh, it would have gotten me detected by that ship that just cut across its the back of its vision range. And there's another one over there doing the same thing, pretty much. Oh, okay, it's turning though. We're just keeping it at, you know, the, the moderate speed, not anchored, not not full sail, the one in between. It's allowing us to maneuver a lot better around these vision cones. Man, they're really throwing a lot of a lot of passing ships at us here. We can go ahead and check them out, I suppose. It's a brig. It's got some metal and some cloth. Let's get moving! What, uh, what is this guy? It's got 208 sugar, a whole bunch of heavy shot, and mortars. It's got mortars. The mortars are hard. 2,000 reals, 96 rum. And it's turning. It's almost cutting off our ability to tail it without getting detected. So far, so good. I think we can even salvage this, uh, this loot over here. We got three sugars. Not bad, but nothing huge. <clears throat> Come on, you stupid big ship. Haven't we haven't we been following this ship for long enough? I feel like we have. I feel like the challenge in this activity is done with. I wouldn't mind a cutscene accelerating this to whatever's going to happen to it. Charles V. He's as reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long. I can't help but respect the man. Get the main stones into the wind! So I'd imagine that this is probably our moment All to stand. strike on this man of war. Probably want to not take on... Oh, no objective is just avoid mortar fire. Under mortar fire, the area of damages is represented by a circle on the water. The yellow circles announce incoming shots. Avoid them. When they turn red, you'll take damages. Why is it, why is it plural? The area of damage. You'll take damage. You don't need. You don't need that ass there. Mortars, can we? Okay. The all right. The wind. Every last scrap of that of wind. Consuls, let's ride this wall. <laughs> oh no! This is seeming a lot more ominous than I was intending it to. Ready to fire! Oh jeez. Oh, oh my God. All right, cool. We're good. These mortars are pretty dang effective at stopping somebody from following you in a straight shot, though. Ready to fire, sir! Charles Vane slinking off between his legs. That's good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Prepare the galleon and send these interlopers to hell. Okay. All right. There's eight of them. Gap 